Welcome to another beautiful episode of Between Two Rivers. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Manny Anaya, aka Celine Dion's number one fan. The warmer weather has arrived here in the Umpqua Valley, and everyone is getting their gardens prepped for the season. One of my favorite things to do on a sunny Saturday is head down to the Umpqua Valley Farmer's Market, not only to pick up my weekly groceries, but to also get ideas for what to grow in my own garden. The Farmer's Market is open every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 in the parking lot of the First United Methodist Church off of West Hopper. There you can find a local selection of fruits, vegetables, meats, eggs, honey, baked goods, crafts, and much more. They even have plants for your home garden. The Umpqua Valley Farmer's Market is a great place to start while visiting spots along the Great Umpqua Food Trail, which features a variety of local farms, restaurants, wineries, and other local food-focused businesses. I love cooking with local ingredients. I'm going to be sharing a recipe with you guys here in a bit, but it looks like I just ran out of a key ingredient, olive oil. Good thing I know where to pick some up. Our friends at River Ranch Oregon Olive Oil have us covered. There are also a stop along the Great Umpqua Food Trail, and I sent our camera crew out there to pick me up a bottle and to find out a little more about their business. Check it out. Hi, well, welcome to River Ranch, a home of Oregon olive oil. We are so blessed to be here in the Umpqua Valley, especially in the Glide area. At River Ranch, at the moment, we have five flavor profiles to choose from. My 2018 estate blend is would be considered mild. Um, and then it kind of moves on up with my 2020 um, estate blend. Not only does each one of the oils, just from a different year, taste different and look different, they also are going to highlight different flavors in your recipe. Thank you. I offer free tours and tastes at the ranch, entertain you for about an hour and a half, take you out in the field, let you see what olive trees do here in Oregon. We've got a wonderful arrangement of products for you to choose from, and we sure hope that you come out and visit us. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and I'll even come in on Saturdays for a special occasion just for you today. Just give me a call at the office, 541-496-9700. I can't wait to meet you. Thank you to River Ranch Oregon Olive Oil for showing us around and telling us all about growing olives in the Umpqua Valley. They also gave us their 2020 Estate Blend, which is going to be used in our home ice. Let's go over the ingredients that we need. We need three cups of cooked chickpeas, one to two garlic cloves, a third cup of tahini paste, half teaspoon of salt, some beautiful juice of a lemon, and the key ingredient, River Ranch Oregon Extra Virgin Olive Oil. So first, we're going to add chickpeas to the garlic and into the bowl of the food processor. Chickpeas. Oh yeah, man. beautiful. Now the garlic requires some mincing. Don't drop your fingers. Do one of these lovelinesses. Now, obviously you want to be able to mince a little bit better, but for camera time, we're going to blend that one. And our food processor. We're not going to blend it. Mr. Follow Oil. 